All right, this is just a brief tour of how to add some custom, or excuse me, some analytics code to your BigCommerce website. Um, once you log in, uh, you'll see your dashboard, and let's say we want to add some Google Analytics code. Well, BigCommerce makes this pretty easy, and to do so, you go to Apps, Analytics, and once you go to this menu, you're going to see that you've got a couple analytics packages enabled, Google is the primary one so we'll click the Google Analytics tab and here we can add the Google Analytics tracking code that we were given when uh, setting up our account for this store uh, with Google so here's a nice location to put this information for Google Analytics tracking in your BigCommerce store now sometimes you may want to add some Google AdWords conversion tracking code well under settings conversions there's a nice little box to add some conversion tracking code often you know for your Google AdWords campaigns and the like now if you have need to add some custom scripting code and analytics code to your website that's not uh, editable from any of these two sections uh, you'll of course need to add it to the actual files of your website and to know where those files are, we encourage you to watch the one of the tutorials we've created that shows you where typically you can find things in your template files for your BigCommerce store. But basically, um, after watching that tutorial, here's where the HTML head would be. So if you're using uh, the FTP method, and we'll connect to our store and we'll see the file structure. We'll click under Template, Panels, and HTML head. Here you'll find just a small bit of code that actually makes up the head of your HTML documents in your BigCommerce template. This will be a universal file used throughout the site. So any scripting or analytics code you place here will usually be found on every page of your website with BigCommerce. So if you have need to have analytics code only on one page in particular, the HTML head area is may not be the best place to add it. You may choose to add it uh, maybe in a product detail page uh, using the code editor or maybe in one of these other pages as pages of the uh, BigCommerce website. And the default.html of course is your home page um, and so if you just want some code on your home page that might be the place to put it rather than in your HTML head which is used for every page of your site. So just a quick little note or two on that and that's pretty much it.